There are 16 days and counting now to the IAAF BTC World Relays Bahamas and preparations are well underway. Last year security was tight at the sports complex and National Security Minister Dr. Bernard Nodder says this year will be no different. Our law enforcement agencies uh, are very efficient, uh, particularly these days, uh, and we are aware um, of all the significance of their presence, of their alertness, of their efficiency, and I don't expect us to have any major, major issues here. Um, Mr. Leon Bethel, who is the Assistant Commissioner responsible for this event, and uh, the Commodore, um, they're ready. Now with the world's best coming to our shores, the Bahamas will present the best to the world in terms of technology. Tonight, Charles Fisher has more on how that is going to be done. This year's second edition of the World Relays will be technology based. All systems have been tested and given the green light by the IAAF. The local organizing committee's chair, Trevor Morse, proudly states that nothing has been left to chance. We have already tested most things um, and ensure that they are fully operational. When I say tested most things, everything has been tested, but um, some of our international partners have already been in town, and like I told you last year, the track is ev uh, even is embedded with technology, and so they came in and they checked those and made sure that all the leads and everything was still operating within parameters, and, and they were, and they, they got approved, and so we are well on our way for not just the IWF World Relays, but for this test event, the Bahamas National High School Relays 2015. And this year's live coverage extends beyond the stadium's jumbo screens. We're improving the core network at the stadium. Uh, we have extended the network to include the Kendall Isaac gym and the swim complex directly. Uh, unlike last year where we brought them in, this year they are actually a part of the infrastructure of the stadium itself. And so you have the warm-up track, the stadium, the Kendall Isaac, and the swim complex making up one um, network. And with more than 1,000 athletes, coaches, and trainers, and media personnel staying in hotels, they too will be able to see the games and schedule through video feeds. The hotels, the, the Atlantis, the Breezes, the, um, the media hotels also will be receiving bus schedules and feeds from the stadium so they, those persons at the, the hotels will actually be able to see some things that are going on at the stadium in, in, in almost live time. And so if you are at one hotel, you should be able to look on the monitor and see your bus schedule. Um, even though you might be seeing the same picture, your schedule is different than the other tower or the other hotel. Um, then there'll be a feed here at the stadium so you can see returning schedules back to your hotel. And for those who have not yet purchased tickets, you could just possibly miss out on the most exciting truck meet of the year. For the ZNS News Network, I'm Charles Fisher.